Diversity is more than just a buzzword. It's at the root of innovation and technological advancement. Diversity drives success in the global workforce. As a practical matter, diversity leads to better outcomes. Did you know the first airbags in the auto industry almost killed women passengers? Why? Because they were tested on crash test dummies with male anatomies. Even in some public restrooms today, if I put my hands under the sink with my palms down, I don't get soap or water. Why? Because the automated soap dispensers aren't calibrated for the darker pigment of my skin. I could go on, but the point is clear. Without diversity, we see design flaws and innovations that omit women and people of color. It's not more engineers that lead to more innovation. It's more diverse engineers that lead to more and better innovation. But we have work to do in growing this diversity. This is especially true in the STEM fields. Current figures are sobering. According to the National Science Foundation, Hispanics comprise only about 6% of working scientists and engineers. Blacks are about 5%. For me, it's about much more than numbers on a pie chart. When I finished graduate school at UC Berkeley in 1991, I was one of only about 30 African Americans that year who earned a doctorate in engineering. That's 30 in the entire United States. You could have fit all of us in a single classroom. Despite these persistent challenges, I remain optimistic. Academic and business leaders are in a unique position to bring access, opportunity, and advancement to all. That's how we build a better tomorrow. So what can we do? First, I believe that diversity is everybody's job. It requires commitment from the highest levels of an organization and all the way down. And that commitment needs to last. Second, diversity initiatives must be linked to business strategies. Diversity should be written into our strategic plans with performance metrics and dedicated resources to ensure success. Third, we must develop programs that are geared specifically for underrepresented students in STEM. I've seen great success with such programs over the years. The students aren't just diverse, but some of the most talented you'll find as well. Building that diverse pipeline can start as early as preschool. We need to get young students excited about STEM, so we need to play the long game. To create a robust and globally competitive economy, we need to engage people of all genders, colors, and backgrounds. This is one of the goals of the Council's National Commission on Innovation and Competitiveness Frontiers. We need to include people with different perspectives, and we need targeted programs to help them succeed. Our innovation and our economy depend on it.